Wow, it's been a while. I don't even know if I'm going to remember actually how to do this. But hey, we're back. Or at least I'm back. Thank you for being back and putting up with all that state spam, I guess. I mean, it was a bit of a panic at the end there when I was running out of time and I had very little time <laughs> to do the videos. And I was like, ah, oh, these are dumb themes. We'll just do them. So um, maybe I'll keep doing states, but I won't do them in such consecutive orders. But this one will be a bit of a, I guess you can call it special. I mean, it's going to be another Iceland one, but it's just because I just got back from my vacation. And I'm going to talk about a little bit. This map was made by somebody, I don't know who. I just searched Iceland, tried to find one with the most likes. Surprisingly, this one was the most because it had seven. But let's go. So I went to Iceland um, for about six days or so. I did have um, plans to make a bunch of videos, but the problem was that there's two separate times that the video, my Go, the GoPro I was borrowing, just decided to go ahead and uh, record nothing, like a ceiling or a, uh, uh, what else, a ceiling, or it would just record the inside of my pocket when I was on tour. And I didn't realize that it had done that until I got to where I was going to record. And by that time, I had zero battery and zero uh, memory space, which happened two times. I think I know where this is. Uh, it's just a matter of trying to remember exactly where it is because we did take tours to these places. Um, but, yeah, I had a great time. I mean, I went into this with very little idea of what the weather and country is going to be like. The airport, you know, we took Iceland Air. Uh, Funny enough, we actually did think about taking WoW Air, but then we changed our mind because it ended up probably costing us way more money in the long run. So we didn't bother with it. But um, one of the little things it said on the, on the plane was that this was the third windiest place in the world. And yeah, they weren't kidding. Uh, if you happen not to realize, this is basically what Iceland looks like outside of cities. It's just... Pretty much nothing. Uh, like, not in the sense that it's bare, I mean, there's no trees or anything. All the trees pretty much got um, chopped down oh so long ago, and they didn't bother actually putting them back up. They're in the process of doing it. A lot of times when you're driving out in the, the, the countryside, you'll see like a house here, and then there'll just be this huge fence of trees around it just trying to help cut the wind because going along the roads here, they have little signs up. That'd be update you, give you some information. We're like, all right, by the way, this is what the uh, road conditions like, the weather and the speed of the winds, which can be uh, my math because, you know, American doing the imperial instead of metric. Um, tour guide said a couple of times it can get up to 30, 40 meters a second, which seems pretty excessive. Um, I thought I knew where this was, a place called, oh god, Black Beach, I forget what it was called, but the problem is I don't know where it is here. The tour, we didn't drive there ourselves, uh, maybe, I don't know how I should approach this, with tips or suggestions maybe, but where's Vic? I think it was near Vic, wasn't it? Hmm, yeah, maybe down here. I think, no, or was it back up here? Uh, it's been, it, it's me trying to remember this. It's a bit difficult. Uh, I, I feel like I'm all over the place here, but the problem is that it was everything I was hoping it was going to be. It was amazing. I had a fantastic time, but it's one of those things. I'm a little biased in it because I've wanted to go here since I was a very small kid. Now I finally had the chance to, and I'm very happy about it. This. Vidgird a blue. I think the D's are with the little lines I've said before, like THs. Almost almost a D, but they're not. Anyway, I feel I'm all over the place here. Oh, we were up here in uh Calafell. Um 
Yeah, that's my problem of trying to understand exactly where we are. Was it down? Was it over here? I don't know. I mean, real quick, I'll just do this here now. Um, the tour we took, I mean, we were in Kova Polgor. That's kind of, I think it was, that's where our Airbnb was. We did some Reykjavik stuff. Took two different tours. One of them was we drove down to Vik, saw all the waterfalls along the way, saw the Black Beach. Um, the then came back and saw two waterfalls. What was a Skoga Falls and Seljalens Falls? I'm trying. Um, and we stopped by Vik and Seflos on the way there. That was a long day. Northern lights that were going to happen that day ended up getting canceled because of weather. Uh, rebooked it for the day after and actually did get to see them. I was blown away that they turned out that way. Uh, then the next one we went to the Ping Velir, which is the National Forest. I forget where that is. I think this is it. Maybe. it's It's been a while. And I don't remember all the words. I wish I did, but... Jesus Christ, I'm, I, it's a hard time. We ended up going to a... There we saw a bunch of gazers. Where is gazer? Is it around here? We went there, and then we also ended up going to uh, the Secret Lagoon, not Blue Lagoon. Uh, had a great time. Moving on. Uh, just to mention about the um, video again it's going to be surprisingly short and a little disappointing just because it's i had a plan of doing it where you know i go to a bunch of different places i would get like 10 15 30 second little clips put them all together with some music blah 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 have a great time uh problem was those two separate incidents incidences incidents words thank you that uh i didn't realize were problems until i was actually in a place and uh, weren't able to get any recording done. And I'm a little bummed because it's going to end up being this super short video. I wanted it to be pretty long. I was thinking maybe 15, 20 minutes, but it's going to be way less than that. Oh, well, uh, like I thought about putting the photos in there, but it's a slideshow. I don't, I, I don't know. It feels weird. Also, these bridges, it's pretty common to have one way roads. On the bridges because bridges are expensive. That's what the they were told to us by my tour guide Trond, cool guy. Um, I know I'm all over the place here, but the anyway the video is going to be that. Uh, I'm working on it. Will be out. I'm gonna say by this week. I'm hoping so. Uh, let's see what else. Video's done. This is way more trees than I'm used to. Um. I didn't, there's a lot of the country that we did not go to see. It was just mostly this region down to Vic. That was about as far as we got. The time of year we went, um, still snow everywhere. It was crazy. The weather there, it would be, it, it's like in 15 minute cycles. It's not that different from where I lived, which Vermont I've mentioned before. It gets pretty windy here. Um, but 15 minute cycles where it can be, like this, you know, sun could even be out 15 minutes later, rain. 15 minutes after that, snow. And varying levels of snow. It could be super thick. Be like those little styrofoam, excuse me, balls. I kind of like, they're almost hail, but it's basically snow. Uh, I don't know what this, I'm just going to click here. I don't know if I'm going to find anything that I recognize because this is do done during a time of year that uh, I was not, oh, it's a dog. That I was not here. This is that a dog? What the fuck is that? Weird. Uh, what else? The yeah, driving around, having no real idea. A lot of the rental car companies, I didn't know if I trust, just because uh, a lot of the rental cars I saw, uh, they ranged from having the SUVs to basically a little wind-up rinky-dink Mini Cooper Fiat type thing where um, if you really didn't know what you're doing, it would probably be real easy to get stuck on the side of the road. And I didn't want to do that being the first time there and also that time of year. Uh, it depends on how confident you feel about your driving and the time of year you're going. Uh, 
but first time just it just don't really plan on immediately knowing how to do things just take the bus like if you're staying in Reykjavik they have bus passes there were three up to one two and three day passes that actually included some uh museums to go see uh for free or for discounts um but just get the lay of the land first and then maybe the next time you go maybe to pick a different type of season and then be like okay this is how roads are here i know i'm going to be prepared because I saw a lot of cars although no fatalities they actually do have um a little memorial north of Reykjavik that each year they wipe the names off of they're like two Volkswagen Golfs like up on a little pillar next to each other and they list the names of all the fatalities that they have i don't think they have that many but there weren't any when I went, which was end of March, beginning of May, uh, April. But lots of cars were on the side of the road. Uh, there was one specific car, the guy we drove by, is like, oh, that's been there for months, which I thought was funny. Or maybe it was weeks, but uh, progressively, the longer we were there, the more I saw a car stuck in the road, where there was uh, one guy... It's like one of these little side roads. I guess he just turned away too early, and then these are pretty. It was pretty steep on either side, and his car was just stuck there. Um. Yeah, they don't really bother plowing roads. I mean, they kind of do, but also, if you see, it's all flat. They raise the road a little bit above the ground just so it can be exposed to the wind. Center of the road is the highest point, so everything washes off to the sides. You know, they they kind of let nature do their work for them as far as uh, cleaning off the roads. Uh, there was a couple times when we were out on the bus. Like, I did get some shots, but also another thing to think about, there was probably, if I, was, if I had my car, at least 30 to, Christ, almost even 50 times, I would have stopped the car, pulled over, and just taken a shot because you would see these bizarre... I mean, this land is weird, bizarre, crazy land with no trees really anywhere. And it just feels completely like it's not even on this planet. I mean, granted, where I come from, this would just be nothing but covered in uh, trees and everything. Volcanic rock everywhere. It was crazy. Beautiful views. Uh, I did do some of it, again, on the tour bus. Uh, I'm not the greatest videographer, but, you know, maybe at some point I will. I'll. I'll, I'll do a little bit more work to it than I did. Um, anything else I want to talk about real quick as far as the witty video? Uh, um, yeah, if I don't really actually ever cover anything that's like you want to hear more about or I didn't get to because I don't even know if I'm actually going to get to everything in this video. It might have to be two. Um, let me know and I can go over the details or any other information that you might have that maybe I saw if you got any ideas about coming here because um i don't know i think it's worth it i'm biased because i love the country and i finally went to see it and i'm super happy that i did so um uh, i could talk about museums real quick i guess i mean this is kind of just maybe to tell you it's like if this what this looks like right now interests you just how it looks the weather i talked about can be nuts that doesn't bother you i mean give it a shot so uh other things i can mention as far as like museums and whatnot went to a bunch um went to the dick museum because of course and i mean me i don't know what i really expected out of it it was just kind of a storefront with a bunch of this this basically oh yeah maybe this is that road i was telling you about that tells you the conditions no nope, these are just the things saying oh and vic's down here so we're like down here okay Where's land brought? Hmm. I don't see middle land. Okay, it's not big enough that would be here. Two oh oh. Oh, we were all the way over there. Yeah, I know scores is gonna be bad. It was funny for me to try, but anyway. Um, did the audio tour for it just just cause, and the guy who created the thing uh, narrated it. 
Um, he sounded weird, a little like a drunk uncle, basically. Drunk uncle with a creepy collection, or just weird, maybe not creepy. And legitimately, the only reason he actually made this museum is because his wife's like, get these creepy friggin' dick things out of my house. And then he finally did. Let's see, can I tell where we are? No. All these photos, or at least it, when they did this uh, Google Maps thing, they did it during a nicer time of year, at least weather-wise. Wait, what did this say it was? Fuel? I don't know if I'm going to find that anywhere. Like, I don't know why I thought the Dick Museum would be... I mean, it felt like they were making a legitimate thing, but also, I mean, that's kind of on me, too. Uh, it was basically a, a store. Like, it was, it was in downtown Reykjavik. It was like you could go to, like, any European convenience store, just gut everything on the inside and throw a Dick Museum in there. That's basically what it was. Um... Yeah, if you really wanted any thorough information about dicks with a man who was very, I mean, I'm not going to pick in his voice because listen to mine, but after a while, I'm like, okay, yeah, we're going to look at whale dicks and it's got them all in these jars. And then we quickly move into kitschy stuff and all the little tiny, like little side rooms they have. And then at one point, like, all right, I get it. Well, maybe that's just on me going into it thinking it was going to be something else. Um, other museums we went to... There was one in Copa Volgur. I'm just going to click down here. I mean, I know that my score isn't going to be great. Let's see if I can find what that... It was like a culture museum, I think it was called, or something. And um, maybe it's just because of the art that was there. I didn't really... I guess appreciate it, I guess you could say, but you know, that's again probably on me. The uh I don't know if I can actually understand or figure out where we were just because I mean I got I we pretty much got um Iceland well this area of Reykjavik down. But looking at it from up here, I'm like, ah, I don't know. It's a bit confusing to me now. Uh, there was a culture museum that we went to, and eh, it was expensive. Also, you know, a lot of stuff in Iceland is pretty pricey. Uh, that's maybe also the places we chose, but a lot of the convenience stores around where we were staying had weird-ass hours. Like, we opened at some places like 11, closed at 4, opened at like 8.30, closed at 2, you know, whenever we would finish doing things and then get out. And then we're finished with whatever little tour or whatever, and we're heading home. Oh, everything is closed. We can't actually just pick up something at a convenience store and just eat at home. So we just ate out. But uh, other, other museums. Went to the Whale Museum, and I think it was more focused towards kids. It, it was just basically a giant warehouse inside with these hanging foam whales from the ceilings and they just told you facts and whatnot. Yeah, my score is whatever. It's going to be fine. Jesus. Oh. The fuck is... What happened to Iceland here? I know my score is just going to be terrible here. I have no idea where this is. This does not look familiar to anything I saw. I don't think I went over that bridge. So I'm just going to say we're... Uh, or somewhere over here. Yeah, you know, like here or something. Um, what else besides museum? Uh, that museum was kind of a letdown for what it was. Uh, we went to one other one after that, I believe, but I can't remember what it was. But, um, museums are fine. The ones we went to were... Uh, Black Beach was great. That was crazy when they talked about sneaky waves or whatever that was called, but you know, a lot of people 
and other parts of the world probably know what those are. I just never heard of them before because I don't live next to an ocean. Um, where he mentioned that, I guess, waves from Antarctica come all the way up to Iceland without being impeded in any way by land. And uh, if you're not careful, a lot of the waves that were there could just come out of nowhere and rip you back into the water. And I guess the most recent one was... Um, 19, uh, 2016 was the most recent one. And, um, I remember the tour guide saying that the, uh, one, one time he saw a wave come up from the water all the way to the parking lot. And the parking lot is probably, uh, let's try to guess some math here. 500 yards from the water. And it's, it's a long stretch of land. So it was pretty impressive that waves can do that. but. It was great to see that. Black beaches, check that off. The Northern Lights were fantastic. Really weird to see them, like, with your eyes, compared to how you see all the photos. They look way different. Like, if you were looking at, like, white smoke at, like, in the middle of the night, and you're just staring at it, it's like, is that really there? I can't really tell. It's just a little hazy. Um, then, once you stare at it long enough, you can finally realize, oh, yeah, it's that. But when I was looking at it, it was pale white the colors that we saw were green i think you remember he said the levels of intensity go from like white to green to blue to red i think that's how it goes but i saw that was fantastic and of course last day i pulled my bags back again reaching for shampoo and i'm sitting here with ice packs on my back again but that's for a different time northern lights were great i saw a bunch of waterfalls um, went and saw geysers, and again, because of that weather thing, the last tour that we went on rained a lot, and it rained hard, and I didn't bother taking any video of that, but even if, like, photos either, because we, it was just, happened to be that one time we got there, and it was just like, all right, we're kind of just done. We'll just wait until we get back into the bus. Uh, oh, uh, let's do horses. I didn't talk about horses either. We'll do that probably for another video, if there's interest. If not, I'll go do something else. But um, did I make a guess? I did. Uh, anything to sum up in 15 seconds? I mean, there's more I, I can do for the next video. If you guys have questions or any other ideas, did I see this? Did I do that? You know, things like that. I'll answer as much as I can because this was an amazing trip. The video that I'm going to do is definitely going to be way too short. But I hope it actually portrays the uh, way I felt and the feeling I got being there. It was a beautiful, amazing country. Just the start of actually being able to travel and um, hopefully do it more often, get some videos going. Um, but thanks for dealing with the spam of the states. I know at some point you probably got sick of it, but that's done for the time being now i'm just going to spam iceland for maybe one more video maybe more if people have more questions but we're back at it again just like that vacation's over everyone's back to work but thanks all for watching again any thoughts questions comments leave them below let me know i'd love to hear from you but until then have a good one folks we'll see you soon